Ghana is blessed with a wealth of natural resources. For decades, the country has been known for its rich deposits of gold, bauxite, and diamonds. These minerals have powered Ghana's economy, helping it stand tall on the global stage. But this may just be the beginning. A few months ago, we posted a video here featuring a man called Osumafu Benyame. He revealed that an entity has informed him that Ghana still has many undiscovered natural resources hidden within its land. You see, so Ghana is not just mere Ghana. Ghana is not just being protected. Ghana, the Ebola was really meant for Ghana, but Ghanaians didn't know. Just like the Arab Spring was meant for Gaddafi, and you never know, he started from where. And so after it swept him, the whole thing ceases. Mm -hmm. Ebola was meant for Ghana. But it is all Hebrew God who stopped them. And later when they saw that the Ebola couldn't get Ghana as they wanted, they went and did vaccine. If you have done a vaccine for a sickness, I think you're supposed to carry it to where the sickness is. Why do you come to Ghana and say you want to use the uh, vaccine on us? Because they know the airways are the ones who are going to invoke that Hebrew God to come and rule the world. America know this and they don't want it to happen. Russia know. British know, uh, Britain know, Italians know, because Italians have been confronting me about this message in Italy, mm -hmm. asking me how is Ghana going to rule the world, they don't have any weapon, they don't have any, I say, okay, you wait. If the world is going to be ruled by weapons and ammunition, you will see. Otherwise, the tsunami and the hurricane will never strike uh, Japan. Japan has ammunition. Why didn't they attack the uh, tsunami? Oh, yes, people don't still understand what is about to take place. They think it's ammunition and guns. It's never that way. It's never that way. Mm. Things are going to be surprised and the whole world will go down with the ammunition. And, and Ghana will rule the Ghana world. will surely, Ghana will surely rule this world. America knows this. Let me tell you one thing. I met with one CIA man mm -hmm. at La Paz. I think last two years or last year. But do you recall that time? Yes. And we were talking about gold business and things like that. Then all of a sudden, this thing pops in. And I told Are him... Are you the messenger of the most powerful gold? You're talking about gold business. Uh, because gold is Ghana's ornament. Never should anybody think that God makes people poor. Like the white man will say, uh, Blessed are the poor, for they shall go to the kingdom of heaven. No. Why is he, white man knows that poor people should go to and he's still cheating us, robbing us of our mineral resources? He knows robbers won't go to heaven. But why is he doing it? You see, there are certain things we don't have to think about it because God never make poor people poor for them to go to heaven. Never. Otherwise, Abraham will never be rich. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, Job will never be rich. The land of Ghana is where... The, the throne of the world, according to you, is yes. going to be and so on. Yes. Can you explain mm -hmm. why our city is losing value <laughs> at such a rapid rate? Thank you very much. Why, why petroleum prices are going up? Thank you very much. Why school children are dying in accidents and so on? If this is God's chosen land, <laughs> then if God didn't choose this land, I don't know what will happen. Very good indeed. You see, he gave a statement. Mm -hmm. He said, anywhere your people, Yaakobi, the one you people started, Yaakob, 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 and then it became Jacob. The original name is what I'm mentioning. Everybody can doubt me. Your doubt doesn't hold any water. You see, sometimes when I speak, I don't want people just to doubt me. Go and find out. Because we are so much lazy. We don't want to research. That is why we are rich and still begging. He said, Anywhere you people put your leg, I will bless the land. But if you don't worship me and acknowledge my laws and obey me, your enemies will come and take away your blessings. This is what is happening to the nation Ghana. I want to put across any young man, any man who is interested. So Ghana has abundance of mineral resources in this land. What has been taken is peanut. But you see, he just wants you people to be aware of who you are and who your God is. And begin to acknowledge him you have if you like people must go and check on the internet the mineral resources on the planet earth gold diamond manganese bauxite and is 11,000 different kinds 
And out of the 11,000 different kinds, Ghana alone has 5,200 of which they themselves they don't know. So who is richer than you? And why are you still beggars? And it seems this prediction might be true because today a new chapter is being written in Ghana's mining history. In the Bewazi to Manguazi area of the Kibi Winneba Belt in southern Ghana, a new valuable metal has been discovered. This rare metal is called tantalum and it has the potential to reshape Ghana's role in the global mineral supply chain again. A team of Ghanaian researchers has uncovered tantalum rich pegmatites in the region. Their findings, published in the paper titled Geochemical Exploration for Tantalum in Cotton Rich Pegmatize at the Bewazi to Manguazi area of the Kebi Winneba Belt. By analyzing the rock formation in the area, they discovered significant concentration of tantalum within pegmatite, a type of igneous rock. The research shows that these tantalum deposits are heavily concentrated in the southern west part of the region. This suggests that there could be even more tantalum beneath the surface just waiting to be discovered. But why is tantalum so important? Tantalum is a rare and valuable metal that plays a critical role in modern technology. It's used in the production of electronic components like capacitors and semiconductors, things we find in almost every smartphone, computer, and electric vehicle. As the world shifts towards renewable energy and electric mobility, the demand for tantalum is only expected to increase. Countries like Australia, Brazil, and Rwanda are already leading in tantalum production. These nations have successfully used their tantalum resources to boost their economies and support high-tech industries. Now Ghana has the opportunity to join this elite group. So, this discovery comes at a perfect time for Ghana. Countries around the world are pushing for cleaner energy solutions and minerals like tantalum are becoming more valuable by the day. This positions Ghana to become a major player in the global tantalum supply chain, boosting its foreign exchange earnings and opening up new economic opportunities. So, if Ghana can harness the potential of these minerals, it could significantly increase its export revenues, positioning itself as the key player in the global market. And the benefits go beyond just financial gains. By tapping into these resources, Ghana can support its renewable energy goals, creating a more sustainable future for its people. The tantalum discovery aligns perfectly with Ghana's ambitions for renewable energy development. But it is also crucial that the right mining contracts are established, ensuring Ghana benefits fully from these newfound resources. And that is all for today's episode. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions on this in the comment section below. My name is Sheriff Harona. Have a joyful life and see you in our next video, my crowd.